Well, we do have a huge amount of things going on that affects our weather. Yesterday, we saw a little cold front drop down. We thought it might be able to drop south the Red River, not so, so we missed out on any activity from there. But our flow pattern is generally a clockwise uh, one now because the high pressure ridge is back to the west of us. And we're getting these pieces of energy moved down through. This one here in the Midwest creates some pretty significant weather. We've got another one that's going to be coming down. Also, we've been getting a monsoonal flow. Monsoon is just a wind but it carries some of this moisture up in the southwestern U.S. Some of that energy has been migrating from west to east. It encounters the Balcones Ridge, so we popped a few showers over part of the hill country. We had a little wave in the Gulf. This is being forced to the northeast by these systems north, so we did pump some moisture into pretty close to the Brazos Valley in southeast for a few showers there. So overall, we're going to maintain that flow. The weather that's keeping our flow pattern like that is up in the Northwest Territory and around the uh, James Bay, Baffin Bay area. So we're going to see an enhanced flow pattern from the west and northwest. That'll set us up with some showers. So we're going to be in much better shape. Satellite radar, very little to look at. We've had those few showers west, some to the southeast, the sustained winds from the south, at times gusting around 20. Future track, we'll bring it down tonight into the 70s, and it looks like a few clouds around. We may see some showers northwest of us tomorrow morning and a stray tomorrow afternoon. We will have some higher numbers, but 75 tonight, those little showers dissipate. Tomorrow, we'll take to average of 96 across the area. Could see a stray late day shower and also late tomorrow night. Then we'll get into some wet weather as we look at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday taper out of it. That'll hold our temperatures down, get our water up, and should decrease some of these bird burn bands. Bird bands too, Chris. Bird bands and burn <laughs> bands, both of those. All right, Bill, thanks so much.